Hey guys, um, so this topic, uh, is inspired by this show that I'm watching. It's called Broken. It's on Netflix and I'm watching episode one, which is all about cosmetics. And, um, I'm going to start with my own opinion about that and what the show says in like the first part of it but then I'm going to get into the dangers of it from what I've learned from the show um, and um, I have to apologize if I'm squinting because I'm not wearing my glasses because I don't like the glare that it puts off with the with the phone, the camera, whatever. But um, so first off, my opinions about it. Um, I don't like makeup. Um, my wife occasionally wears makeup on like special occasions when we're going out to a nice place or whatever um but she doesn't wear makeup almost ever um she does the whole nail thing i got her a nail kit um just because one time um but she uses that and you know nails are nails whatever um but as far as makeup and the face and things like that uh one of the things that came up on the show that really bothered me um was one of the quotes was this is the way that beauty is manufactured and to me, that just screamed vanity. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that is the culture that we live in. Um, everybody wants to look better than they do. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind looking better than I do. Um, I have these, you know, wrinkles and, and bags and, and this little thing right here that I'm still recouping from from my slip on the ice and uh but you know my belief is that you know God made us a certain way and um I don't necessarily have anything against makeup or people who wear makeup or whatever um but I do think you can take it too far I was dating a girl years ago who, I mean, she wore a mask all the time. Um, we would get into the truck to go somewhere and she would put on a layer and then we would drive there probably 15, 20 minutes. And before we got out of the truck, she would put on another layer and I mean, and she shopped at Sephora and that makeup was super expensive. Um, so that kind of added to my dislike for makeup. Um, but I think makeup should accentuate, um, your natural beauty. I don't think it should cover up anything. I think it should bring certain things out. And I think that's how most people, um, apply it. So, that being said, I want to move on to the dangers of certain things, and which is what they're focusing on right now. And that is uh, counterfeit products. Uh, stuff that I've heard about online and, and things like that, but I've never really um, seen it, been exposed to it or whatever. But, you know, you have certain name brands that are usually more expensive. Um, and they do have name brands that they're, they're talking about here. I think it's color pop or whatever. They're kind of newer, 
but um, they're legit. But there are other companies out there who are trying to counterfeit these name brands that do have um, good reputations and they are putting um, ingredients in them that are hazardous, that are dangerous, uh, you know, downright dangerous. They're putting ingredients like super glue in their lipstick to counterfeit the consistency of name brand um, makeup products. And there's one girl on here who got one of those counterfeits because it was cheaper. Uh, it was the... I forget the name brand. I'm, I don't follow cosmetics, but I, I think it was like uh, Kim Kardashian or Kim something. Um, she got a counterfeit of one of those because it was cheaper she didn't know it was a counterfeit, but she got it online on eBay and thought that, hey, I'm getting a good deal. And she applied it. And a few minutes after she put it on, she could not separate her lips. And she found out that that was one of the counterfeits that puts super glue in their product. Um, so there's that. There's... Uh, some brands are putting their uh, there are traces of um, fecal matter from rats um, and urine uh, horse urine is one of them um, and oddly enough they're getting reports of pink eye and if you know where pink eye comes from fecal matter so there's that, there's styes, um, boils, things like that. So as I don't, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm neutral, I guess, on the makeup thing, on whether or not you use it. Um, I don't think women need makeup, but women feel the need to wear makeup um and that's fine or whatever but if you're gonna wear makeup make sure you're getting the uh the right stuff um you know but one of the other things they that they touch on is you know today's society we like to have nice things and we like name brand so that's why you have all these counterfeits coming out under those names and they're not even affiliated with them they don't go through the same processes they don't use the same ingredients and there's a bunch of people falling prey to that and uh you know there there was a, a task force in la that seized seven hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise that was counterfeit and harmful in one shot so, you know, be aware of what you're putting on your skin. And I know that, that my wife uh, goes online and buys some of her products online. Um, and usually it's like a face mask or something that, that clears up your pores. Um, which I also think even though those are useful... They wouldn't be needed half as much if these people weren't wearing makeup because the makeup covers up your pores, clogs them, and now you need something to unclog your pores. So it's like a catch-22. But anyway, I mean, I know I've got I've got some pores that need to be cleared up or whatever. I don't wear makeup, but uh, but you know, I don't need. A, 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 a face peel or whatever nearly half as much as somebody who wears makeup does and 
so that that's just something else to think about um, even if you have the correct legitimate stuff it's still gonna damage your skin because it's clogging those pores and those pores need to breathe so anyway um, my point is uh, just make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you're not um, just looking for a a good deal a cheap deal there's some things that you do want a good deal on you know electronics um, books movies um, those things you might want to get a good deal on but when you're applying something to your skin and I'm not even just saying makeup uh, soap shampoo um, things like that you, you kind of want to make sure that it is the um, correct stuff that has gone through the correct processes and that it is actually safe to use um, so anyway that's just my take on it my, my main thing here is to warn people out there um, that are buying things online um, and think that they're getting a good deal uh, be careful and uh, yeah I'm watching this series broken I'm only on episode one right now and I guess it covers a bunch of different topics uh, it covers uh, teenage nicotine addiction um, cosmetics just different things it's one of those things that it's it advertises watch in any order so it's not like uh, a series that you have to catch it at episode one or whatever but I'm gonna keep watching and see if I learn something else and I've almost shut this thing off a couple times just because of how much it advertises um, vanity and uh, and things like that but it's the society that we live in and uh, I don't think it's right but it's good to have something like this out there av available that exposes the dangers of certain things so that's my take on it um, be careful with what you get and love your natural beauty love your natural beauty so anyway that's all I got thanks guys God bless